Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Talisman, and this video is a recording of one of my recent art streams on Twitch. I stream on Twitch twice a week, Sunday and Wednesday, from 11am to 1pm Pacific Time. I work on various projects, including commissions, and I'm available to answer your questions. I would love to see you there, so do sup by so we can hang out. And if you enjoy this video and want to see more art streams and time lapses, remember that you can also like and subscribe. I've also included the social links in the description if you want to follow me elsewhere too. Let's get started, shall we? Today I'm working on, or we'll be starting a mandala from scratch, so not using any of my old files as a template because I want to kind of have a chance to show people how this works if you don't know. So this first image here is the first mandala I did in March. So this one has eight repetitions. I did a bit of experimenting before I started, trying to get an idea of, you know, how many repetitions is enough, how many looks weird if it's, a, you know, too few. Um, I found, for me, eight seems to work. So this first one of mine, you know, black and white only, done, is it eight? And so, there's a fair bit of detail in here. Um, this one I planned out a little more. I put circle guides, well, circles as guides, around the center point as well to help me. And then, this is the one from last month that I completed with 10 repetitions when I've started doing the floral flower theme. So the rose itself is not a part of any repetition, but all the others are. This one took a lot longer, also, because I colored and shaded it. Let's center you. That's not what I wanted. So, today we're starting from nothing. I just pick a square canvas. This one is 10 inches by 10 inches, but anything will do. It doesn't have to be square. It's easier if it is. is on. Good. So we start by going to Symmetrical Ruler. Mine's on eight repetitions, or eight lines, because that's what I like. Grabbing the Object Tool to center this, because as far as I know, there's no option in Clip Studio Paint to center rulers. So I use guides, little notches, to tell me where it is, but I know that 1750 is the center. Okay. And unlike last time, I'm going to do a little bit of sketching on this one first. I want the sunflower to be the center and kind of this one will feel it might feel a little less like a mandala we'll see I 
I want this sunflower to really be a part of it. Can I draw a sunflower today? I like the symmetry ruler. It makes even scribbles look like they're intentional. As soon as there's repetition, it's like, oh, that makes sense. That was definitely on purpose. Am I going overboard? Maybe. But that is what I do. Even the simplest things have to have all the details. Not that one. One of these is a circle. There it is.
the center. Okay. Stop that. It's an accident, but I like how that looks. So there's a diamond in here now. doing today. It's good to see you. Right now I'm working on the sketch for my mandala featuring lots and lots of sunflowers. I think using the symmetry rulers, it's fun. It makes everything look more intentional. It kind of hides the mistakes. I'll clean this up a bit. After. I just wanted to feel very like flowery and bright and fun. I don't know if I'll color it yet, but somehow it'll look bright and fun in black and white. We'll see. Maybe I'll give it a background or something. You two have plans for today? I think I like that. Keep that.
Stay cozy. Good plan. I tried to get out early, like water from a vegetable garden before it gets too hot. It was still pretty hot. I am on the wrong layer. That's better. Do I like this pen? I think so. Swarms of insects everywhere. Oh no. You. You. We get a lot of dragonflies here, which aren't too bad compared to like mosquitoes and other things. So we do get those too. I can understand not wanting to go out in that. No, thank you. it's oak trees that have like little inchworms I guess they're like moths or something we get a lot of those around here so you know if we go for a walk sometimes there's just like little tiny inchworms just hanging from the trees try to get in your face it's not good I'm not a fan I used to walk through, I don't want to say a forested area, but it was a path with a lot of like tall trees when I went to college. And I was not warned that at one point in the year, there'd just be like inchworms hanging down. So I got covered in them. It was the worst. I think of it if uh, if anyone has any questions about making mandalas or clip studio paint or just things like that I do want to make a video and kind of like how to make a mandala so you know, I have a few ideas of what people need to know for that but should anyone have any questions or any ideas you can always throw them my way if not, that's okay too.
Sorry, it looks like I muted myself. I'm not quite sure how I did that. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I did see your comment about Photoshop and Corel Paint. Coral? Corel? I still use Photoshop. I think I used Corel Paint a long time ago. It was very difficult from what I recall, but I imagine it's probably better now. When I say a long time ago, I mean like Paint Shop Pro was a thing? I don't know how long ago that was. Maybe I'm aging myself. I'm definitely more familiar with Photoshop. I might have said it before, I just stopped using it for art and mostly use it for photo editing and design related things now. the real test to see if I can draw a circle or at least half a circle when I don't think about it I can draw a circle pretty quickly when I actually have to like focus on it and try it might not look like a circle Close enough. I didn't do that. Whoops. I planned on starting this as a vector. And I'm just looking at my layers. I didn't do that at all. That's okay. It would have just meant that I could resize it a little more later on if I wanted. But I think I forgot last time too. Need to have some sticky notes there for myself. Along with the reminders to save. Oh, 
well. The other thing is if I disinfector, I could just tell Clip Studio Paint to delete certain overlapping lines. I mean, I guess I could start over and do it in vector, but I don't want to. This is fine. notes to make for myself before I do that uh, tutorial slash step-by-step -step video, I guess. Is this right set up? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm also open for suggestions for other flowers to do in the future. I do want to do I think like six more of these mandalas with the flower theme. I don't know a lot about flowers, so and I know a few, but I kind of just picked my two favorites, roses and sunflowers. So definitely open there's certain ones that was the wrong button you guys want to see or think might look nice. I just might do it. I don't know why. Flowers are just fun to draw.
the last mandala I did, I'll be working on the time-lapse video for that. I don't think I'll have it ready to go up this week, but... I'll definitely be working on it. My first mandala time-lapse got a fair bit of attention. I guess they're just... I mean, I like looking at them after the fact. Yeah, as a time-lapse, because it just looks like... Everything's just coming together really quickly. So, it'll be nice to get a couple more up there. On YouTube, on Ko-fi. You know, share them with people. And when I say it did really well, I probably got like 20 views, so... I'm pretty new on YouTube, too. Well, to me, is like more than my friend group looking at it. Which is fine. These things take time. And they're fun to do, so... Bonus. This one doesn't feel too much like a real mandala yet, to me, I think it's just because it's flowers. But I am going to sneak some more smaller detail in there, especially in the uh, center of the flower here. You know, just kind of make it look... I want to make it look like tiny little seeds, or like there could be seeds, but if you get too close it's just like diamonds or little leaf shapes, just something else. I think it'll be fun. The other thing I like about these rulers is that I'm better at drawing lines heading right than I am drawing them going left. So with the mandalas, or with the rulers, I can kind of just pick a spot where I can do it the way that I'm stronger doing it. spoke too soon.
I might color this one, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Oh, certainly not today. Probably won't finish the line art today. I might, but... I also think I'll leave it for later. As well, the mandala was fun, it's also... time-consuming. But I do need to make sure I do them, so... I want to make a little book by the end of the year featuring a bunch bunch of these just like a pdf that's a coloring book so people can either you know print them out at home or open up their favorite digital art program and color them You know, sell at my coffee shop for like a dollar or something. And it was just something small and fun. Baby steps. Whoops. I just realized I probably should not freehand these. I don't have to. I will have to clean it up a little, but it's okay. Change up the music a little. Still lo fi. I think the other one is considered ambient. I can always put it back if you guys preferred that one though.
I think that works. Those lines aren't very straight. <sighs> well, I made them straight, but I clearly didn't try and line them up. I should probably do that. Still won't be perfect, but it'll be closer, close enough that I'll be happy with it, so that's what matters. All better. Now I'll clean up these corners just a tad. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. I'm going to go grab some ice water. Um, mine has become lukewarm and it's too hot in here for lukewarm water. I'll be just a minute or two, probably three. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Thank you for the follow. I am not sure how to pronounce your name, but thank you.
feel free to let me know how to pronounce it or how you'd like to be addressed, and I will do that. Um, going to merge these two, yes. So I'll get these leaf petal shapes in and then work on adding some of the more, some, some of the more, some more detail into the different pieces. I want to be careful and not lose the fact that there's petals here and sunflowers. So be a careful balance between adding detail and not losing the good stuff. I can confirm that ice water is much better than lukewarm water, just in case anyone was wondering. That's the eraser.
Sorry, I keep muting myself because I'm yawning. I shouldn't be this tired right now. My stream shouldn't be so relaxing, it's making me tired. It's also I didn't sleep super well, so... Just one of those days. I also feel like I'm doing this mandala in memory of my real sunflowers that recently got eaten by about 10 to 15 golden finches. Yeah. I was expecting bugs to go after them, not birds. So next year we'll have to put up some sort of barrier. Let the bees in, but keep the birds out. even started going after the centers of the sunflowers. They, they're not seeding, they didn't get the chance, but the birds got them. Maybe the trick is to just plant more sunflowers. might also make the finch population explode, considering how much they love those leaves. Who knew? you.
So I do want to fix some of these lines, but I don't want to go too far and spend too much time on something that only I'm really going to notice in the end. Try a couple things in here and see what I like. These things look cool, but they don't make it look like a sunflower.
I'm not quite sure what I think about this. Maybe. Maybe it just needs to be a little cleaner. Thank you, Elbow. I appreciate all of you guys being here too. Aww. Well, I'm glad it's a calm place because that's my goal you know I recently added notifications just for follows and things but I've tried to like tone them down so they're not really animated more than they are normally I think they have music but it's really quiet so you know calm things These are the kinds of things that help, you know, me focus and work, so I'm glad other people like that too. I have a hard time staying focused in like loud and busy places. Yeah, you know, I kind of need quiet or at least like calm, consistent music or something, so. It's nice that I can kind of, you know, make that kind of space.
I think that works. A little more detail in here, but not too much. Tone it back a little from my usual. Fix this little petal here. There. These ones are going to be tricky. What did I do in the sketch? Circles. I'm going to make them not tricky. Circles it is. Are you saving? Yes, it is. Do that manually. Many of these are touching. Oh, leaf. I just realized I'm zoomed in to like nine hundred percent. Try not to do that so much. It makes, you know, things look interesting and there's a lot of detail, but I also realize that what I should be doing is making a larger canvas versus zooming in very far. Lose some of the detail when I You know, post it at real size. I can still zoom in and show people the detail, but... Hiding it a little too well. And in this case, if I want them to be coloring pages. Larger shapes are not a bad idea.
Paso, this is not quite what the middle of a sunflower looks like. There's more of a design there, a pattern. That's okay. One thing I found with mandalas for me is that making them is also kind of like calming too. I tend to get a little bit like anxious sometimes. Sometimes. And uh, just focusing on something that it doesn't have too many like strict rules or doesn't come with a bit of, um, I guess it's the rules, you know, like there's no real way to do these things. And I can just get focused on the tiny, the tiny details. It helps me not think about something sometimes. In school, I didn't create mandalas, but I'd take bank blank piece of paper the finest tip pen I could find and just start making tiny tiny designs in between classes or during classes I had to stop doing that though because Turns out I have an astigmatism in both eyes, and uh, I was getting some serious eye strain from that too. But the plus side with digital is I can just zoom in and I don't need to put my face next to the paper. No more eye strain. My circles got a lot smaller as I went. I tried.
not quite sure what part to do next. If I do any design in the petals, I want to make it probably lighter in color, like a mid-gray. So when I do end up coloring, it can just be something lighter. Don't want to lose the sunflower shapes. The petal shapes, rather. something on my screen right there. Okay. Try this and see what it looks like on one of them, and maybe I'll stick with it. I am not sure. a couple more, I guess. Except try a little harder to make things look a little more consistent. This will be a tricky design to keep up on every leaf. Because not all of the leaves fall on a ruler line. Well, I'll do it for the ruler leaves. Figure out what to do with the rest.
That is not working as planned. Okay. I think it's good enough. The leaves, that is. Do a few more. In this kind of style, and maybe there's a... Some other kind of style for the other leaves. We'll see. favorite parts of working on a new art project is taking the time to plan out what I'm doing, gather ideas, references, inspiration. You know, I like going through like the sketch phase and figuring out the tough stuff and then when I get to working on the rest, seeing, you know, all of my planning come together. I don't know about you guys in terms of... Not necessarily art, but projects. Things you're planning on doing. I like planning. But mandalas especially feel like they're mostly all planning. Which I didn't really realize until kind of right now where I'm like this is this is what that feels like I like it
song is this? Oh. This one's really pretty. At some point, I want to get a microphone that may not necessarily pick up all of the background noise as well as my current one does. My current one is a headset. And it'll pick up voices like down the hallway. Which on one hand is good because my voice is very quiet. I don't tend to talk very loudly, but on the other hand, conversations from down the hallway.
finding specks of dust on my screen. I cleaned you off before I started. Not good enough, apparently. Just thinking about what to do with the leaves. I don't want to leave them with just a line in the middle. I might leave the petals alone entirely. something special with them when I get around to coloring this eventually. It would be kind of nice to finish the line art in two hours total. Maybe a little bit more. With how close I am to finishing this one though, it'll probably be the quickest mandala I've done so far. 
line art wise that is when I color this I'll want to add some gradients to the leaves I think and with the flower petals too and just visual interest instead of just a flat color Missed the eraser. There we go. Same for this one. 
line art is done. My goal for creating a slightly simpler mandala. Thank you, Gibbets. I'm excited to color it, but I know I want to wait on that and finish a few other projects. My next ones will definitely be a little more complicated than this one, but I don't want to take it too far. So this is where I'll wrap it up for today. Thanks everyone for joining me, and I hope you all have a great day. If you want to see more of my work, I've got social links in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.